Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. In this video I'm going to be doing some antenna work on my Ron 60 foot antenna tower. I'm going to do a quick remake of a video I made a couple years ago that I didn't include a lot of detail in of how the mechanism works so I wanted to include some of that in this video here today. As you can see there's a cable running up to the tower. That cable is attached to the 45 foot mark and it's not used as a guy wire but it's used to lower the tower down. I've got the guy wires disconnected already and it's ready to go. This cable you're going to have to attach to something secure in the yard so I've got it attached to a winch that I've made an adapter to go into the uh, trailer hitch of the van right there. You can use a manual boat winch or something like that if you want to but they are a little bit dangerous. I used one of those before and the spring broke and it almost took my hand off so after that I got the uh, electric winch. So let me show you some of the details um, about how this tower works before I lower it down. Okay so right here we're looking at the base of the tower right here and um, I've got two pieces of pipe sticking up out of the ground. Those are down in the ground at least um, 30 inches or so if I remember right and uh, there's a lot of concrete in that hole right there and uh, what I did was is I attached the first 10 foot section of tower to those two uh, pieces that go down in the ground before I poured the concrete that way I made sure that they were exactly the right distance apart and the tower was level and all that stuff now if you can see here there's an axle that runs through the tower here I'll set the camera down and point it out it's right here this is I drilled a hole through the tower and uh, what you can do is if you can find a piece of pipe to fit up inside the tower and run it up in here about this far, it'll strengthen the, uh, the leg on the tower so that you don't have to worry about uh, the tower collapsing on you when you lower it down. But this is just a piece of half inch steel pipe that I, or a rod that I got from Lowe's I think. And it's just running through with washers on each side and it pivots right here. Uh, the third piece is not really being used for much of anything right here except I do got a bolt through it. Back here I've got a piece of C channel down in the ground probably another three feet or so like I said before and I've got these uh, D rings that are hooked to the uh, bolted through the C channel right there for my guy points and of course I'm using um, turnbuckles right there with a piece of cable through the turnbuckle that way that doesn't come loose on you and here we have another guy point in the yard. This is a piece of truck frame that I had laying around and I welded those um, D-rings on there and that's what I have the, uh, the two guy points hooked to on this one. And then of course there's a third one in the yard that um, I'm not going to show because it's just redundant. Uh, basically this is what I did. One other thing I wanted to mention here, I've got the tower in the back corner of the house. Uh, that way when the tower is laying down over there, not quite to that truck right there but it's it, it goes in that direction um, I need something to pull up in order to let the tower down safely and also to get it started going back up again if I just try to pull that straight you know with the van it's just not gonna work it's just gonna pull and pull and pull and it's not gonna have any lifting power so this peak right here is 21 feet high or something like that that uh, it changes the angle on that pole cable so that it can get that started going up again. But um, the point is, is I made this box right here to protect the peak of the roof because otherwise that guy cable would dig right into the shingles right there and cut a hole in the roof and well, the wife won't be happy about that.
All right, so I got all my antenna work done. I switched around some cameras and uh, took down the 20 meter beam and added a two meter Omni. And I'm gonna raise it back up. All right, well, there you have it. I got it up successfully. Now I gotta go check on my cameras to make sure I don't have to reposition them and lower everything down again. If you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.